Hey guys, it's Wendy from Wendy Star. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to paint this flower in watercolor. I'll talk about the techniques I use and the colors I choose for this painting. Now, if you're ready, grab your pens and paper and let's start painting. As always, I start with my sketch. I refer to my reference photo and mark out the basic shape and the darker shadows so it's easier for coloring later. Then I outlined it with light watercolor and erased my pencil sketch afterwards so there's no pencil sketch left on my finished painting. Before coloring, I picked up some colors I'm gonna use for the petals and I tested it out on another paper as you can see here. You can test it using wet on wet technique so you know the expandability of each color and how it looks like after dry. Also, different brands will have different results, so I like to make a color chart and test it out before using. Next, I mix the colors in advance so it's ready to use while I'm coloring. Then I start painting the darkest areas on the petal. You can adjust the reference photo to black and white so it's easier to see the darker areas as you can see here. Next, I add the vent details on the petals. I like using number zero pen brush here, so it's much easier and more efficient. Then I add the median tone shade color around the middle areas. For the other petals, it's the same painting process. I pan out the darkest areas first, and you can soften the hard edges around the darker shades using clean water so it looks more natural. For some vein details, I like to turn the paper to vertical side so it's easier for me to paint the lines. Then continue the same painting process until you finish all the petals.
So here I like to hold two brushes in hand, one for adding colors, the other one for using clean water to soften the hard edges. For the stem, I mix two complementary color to make it darker, and try to avoid using black color to darken your color because it look dull. I like using complementary color to darken the color so it looks more natural. Finally, the touch-up, I like to go back to see if there's any details missing or any areas that need to be strengthened again. So the painting is about done here. I hope this tutorial is helpful and if you enjoyed it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you never miss out on my weekly art videos and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. 